In this video, we'll be talking about macrophages. This is a high yield video for USMLE step one. So stay tuned till the end. Macrophages belong to the innate immune system. So there are two arms of the immune system, the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. Macrophage, dendritic cell, these are classical antigen presenting cell. So let's focus on the macrophage and try to understand its function at a cellular and molecular level. Macrophage are potent phagocytes. That means they engulf pathogens such as, let's say, bacteria or even, let's say, other kind of pathogen like fungus. So once engulfed, they can fuse their lysosomes with these engulfed bacteria and create phagolysosomes, which would eventually lead to a lysosomal enzyme mediated degradation of these pathogens. Also, they have another strategy known as respiratory burst. This is a process by which they generate ROS or reactive oxygen species to kill these engulfed pathogen. We would also elaborate on that part. But besides these functions, macrophage can present antigen onto class 2 MHC molecule to the naive T cell. And it has the capability to activate the naive T cell and polarize its differentiation to certain lineages. So it has profound activity in terms of T cell activation or overall immune modulation. Now, how does macrophage recognize a particular bacteria or a pathogen? It turns out every bacteria or pathogen has some molecular pattern associated with it on its surface. So it recognizes the pathogen associated molecular pattern and that happens via the toll like receptors. These are present on the surface of macrophages. Small components like the components of lipid in the bacteria or let's say DNA or a part of the flagella, all these can, can, be, can be recognized by the macrophages. And macrophage can kind of understand that these are not uh, innate to the body. These are foreign substances. These are in the body potentially due to a, a attack by some sort of pathogen. So they have the capability to recognize the type of pathogen as well. Now let's talk about once they recognize the pathogen, what they would do with the pathogen. Obviously they had to kill it. And the way they kill it is via respiratory burst. Besides macrophage, neutrophil also has that capability. So they take oxygen, convert that into oxygen radical with the help of NADPH oxidase. Then superoxide dismutase convert it into H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide. And then myeloperoxidase convert it into HOCl uh, free radical. So all these free radical can be uh, actually useful to kill the pathogen. In a moment, I'll tell you why. But anyway, the H2O2 can further convert it into H2O. And this overall process requires glutathione, NADPH, and the important enzyme, NADPH oxidase. Now, question is, how does these ROS actually damage and kill the pathogen? So ROS can do many things. It can lead to lipid peroxidation, thereby damaging the membrane of the bacteria. It can also lead to structural disruption of the membrane proteins present on the bacteria. ROS can also lead to DNA damage and all these kind of changes together can lead to the killing of the bacteria. And that's what happens inside the engulfed uh, phagosome of the macrophage. Question is, where does macrophage come from? Which lineage? So that is why we have to go get back to the bone marrow where the hematopoietic pluripotent cells are. These cells can give rise to myeloid progenitor which forms monoblasts. Monoblasts give rise to monocyte and monocyte goes into the blood circulation. But when it comes out of the blood circulation and are placed on the tissue, then they differentiate into macrophages. So they have distinct changes in terms of their morphology and overall organelle composition. Macrophages are normally diffusely uh, spread all across connective tissues, but there are tissue specific macrophages as well. For example, the liver has Kuffer cells, the spleen has sinus histocytes, the brain has microglia, etc. Now let's talk about how macrophage plays a vital role in chronic 
inflammation there are two kinds of inflammation chronic and acute acute means short term sudden or chronic means long term and prolonged inflammation both of these topics are covered in a separate video which you can get in the i button or in description now there are two types of macrophages one part is known as m1 another part is known as m2 m1 macrophages are pro inflammatory they secrete ros lysosomal enzymes which eventually degrade the bacteria via respiratory burst or let's say lysosome mediated degradation alongside that they secrete cytokines and chemokines which attract more cells immune cells into the site of infection m2 macrophages on the other hand secrete anti inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin 10 tgf beta etc also tgf beta secreted by m2 macrophages take part uh, participation in tissue repair and fibrosis so there are two pathways of macrophage activation classical pathway alternate pathway so the point is macrophage has two different states it can possibly work in a pro inflammatory mode it can also work in a repair and regeneration mode depends on how they are activated dictates what they would do eventually now let's say we have m1 macrophage and we would try to understand its role in context of a chronic inflammation in case of chronic inflammation m1 macrophage activates naive t cell and directs its differentiation with the help of polarizing cytokines like interleukin 12 33 and 6 it triggers the formation of th1 and th17 subtypes both of which are pro inflammatory also it secretes chemokine which attracts many macrophages dendritic cells and neutrophils to the nearby vicinity and this vicious loop is closed by th1 subtype cell which secretes interferon gamma interferon gamma gamma can trigger the differentiation of macrophage 1 or m1 macrophages so that that is how a vicious cycle of inflammation dictates underlying uh, these chronic inflammatory uh, responses anyway other than macrophages in chronic inflammation the plasma cells are quite important they can have antibody generated against a foreign substance or against a altered tissue component but moral of the story we understood that macrophages are potent responders underlying chronic inflammation alongside two important t cell subtypes th1 and th17 so i hope this video was useful and insightful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up get more notes and flashcards in our website uh, in instagram page or in facebook follow us links are provided in the description and you can support our channel using super thanks your small contribution is motivation for us to make more videos like this see you in next video